Merry Christmas to everybody. And also, Christmas came a little early for me. Don't, don't you ever think for a second I forgot about her. I didn't. I didn't forget about her at all. I didn't forget about my baby, not for a second. Christmas came a little early for me, let me tell you. This mod, not performance oriented, but it looks badass. I saw a couple of these things, I went back and forth, I'm like, what's sure to get? Spilled the beans, pulled the card out, swiped the credit card, it's Christmas. It's kind of a mod, it's not really a mod. It's an attachment, it's a piece that will put on the bike and it will make it look all that much better. And what I'm talking about, cut the suspense, is a new radiator cover, and it's in that box right here. To the intro! about is an SLK Customs Radiator Scoop. You can go ahead and order this at slkcustoms.com. That's what I did. Totally badass. It's very easy to do. Uh, they recommend using specific equipment to bolt things up. I'm only going to do this temporarily because I want to get it painted in the future. So at least for the winter time I can put the mod together. I can look at it as she's sitting there as the snow was coming down and you can't really ride uh, because of that. I already opened the box, but I'm gonna open the rest of the way right here. Big box. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah. Is that a scoop? I'll open it. Yeah. Wow, fuck. Hey. Okay, where was I? <laughs> Yo! Look at this scoop! That's a scoop! That's a radiator scoop, boys! That looks sick! Handmade fiberglass laid, custom work, zip tie mounts, got a little bolt here. Probably for mountain upside up in here. Yes, sir. All right, let's get this started. I can't wait to put this on. All right, I'm gonna undo this right here. Let's see how far that goes in. Oh, it's threaded in the, there's a metal piece inside the fiberglass where it's threaded in. They did email you instructions. So let's figure it out. All right, step one, scoop on the ground. Use a blanket to protect yourself. V, zip tie through the straps of the bottom rails. Okay, zip tie, blah, 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 blah. Allow some play. Scoop with the scoop attached to the radiator. Completely tighten the zip ties. Then go back and tighten the top scoop and 3M double-sided tape where the scoop touches the frame. Not gonna do any of that right now because I wanna just put this on temporarily, but I would imagine makes sense. Lightly lo loosen, lightly tighten the bolt on the top here, and then I'll go underneath and I'll get some zip ties and work a little magic. So I'm gonna use plastic ones for now, just so I can see what it looks like I'll hold up. Cause like I said, I, what I wanna do is I wanna send this piece out to get it painted with a couple other pieces so the blacks match on the bike. I mean, that's my goal. We'll see how far we get. But like I said, I'm gonna just do a temporary thing. So yes, use metal zip ties. If you've never heard of such a thing, yes, they do make such a thing. Uh, my octagon pipes from uh, Smoke and Tire Garage. Let's just do it, right? Come on, let's just get right into this. All right, all right, oh, what I'm gonna do. 
get some zip ties. I believe I had a bag of zippies over here somewhere. I've got to go through my stuff. Maybe they were this one. Nope, maybe this one. Nope, maybe this one. Nope, this one. Nope, I checked that one. Maybe this one. Nope. Maybe this. Nope. Oh, come on, man. Where my zips at? Oh, I found one. Every time. Cut the video. All right, lay some cardboard down. One, two zip ties. I had to dig around. Turns out I'm out, but I found some loose ones in the drawer. Oh, it's cold. It's mighty cold. All right. Wow. Here, come down to my level. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there are four holes on the bottom here and one cross piece here. I'm going to put the top on then screw it and then feed the zip tie up through one hole over the bar and come down and then zip tie it on the bottom. Boom, boom. And snip it and then I'll tighten the top part just like the instructions say. But I'm gonna do it like this. So, here we go. How does this look in the camera? Screw it in a little bit. You want to bottom that? It's going to be bottomed all the way out. How do you? That's fun, stupid. Am I doing that right? You want to fill all this gap through that to hold that up there like this. Why is this bolt see so fun? Okay, for whatever reason, this bolt is extremely long. So what I'm going to do is try to shorten it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up there and put this in and tighten it as far as I can. It's between the two will let me know how much I actually have to shorten. Screw this. All the way in, right about there. It's as high as it can go and mount up anymore. Can't mount anymore. I can't make a sharp there. Come on, Sharpie. Okay, now we gotta do some math. So for me, with the screw all the way in, it leaves one and three eighths inch. I take the screw, screw it all the way in, and the difference is one and three eighths inch remaining, sticking out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hacksaw off the one and three eighths inch. It's never, it's never easy, I guess, <sighs> ever. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, put this in the vise. Oh. It would be nice if they gave the freaking proper screw, but like length, but either that's too easy or the fact that, um, I don't know, the frames are different. That shouldn't be the case, but whatever. Okay, one and three eighths. If I screw the screw, if I screw the screw up, then I screw the screw up. I'll get myself another screw. But one and three eighths. What I want to do is put this in the vise. Vice it as much as I can, starting with the hacksaw, put it in between the threads, and go slow to make your cut. Okay. Alrighty, tiny lefty loosey. Once you get the screw in the vise, and you take your hacksaw and you make simple cuts in between the threads, you're gonna have a little shrapnel left. That's normal when it comes to cutting bolts. It's very easy to get rid of. All you need to do is find some sandpaper. Uh. And run it across a couple times. Not sure how well you can see that, but I got the shrapnel off, but now the threads need to clean up. You gotta clean them up. So just put it on a 45 degree angle and just turn it. You just want to get the burrs off. Doesn't take long. Look at it, turn it. Oh 
Okay, that's perfectly rounded. What you can do too, is if there's still a little burrs, find a nut that you can put on the end and about screw the nut about halfway down. down. When you do that, take it and whack it on the side of your table or throw it on the ground, striking the nut. And what it will do is it will shock the metal and it's a neat trick to then undo it undo the nut and you'll have the burrs broken off because you're using the threads of the nut to snap it. I don't happen right now, happen to have one that will fit that, but what I will do is just go back over to the piece and do a test fit. Voila, I cleaned it good enough, okay? That should now make the difference of the bike and what I can do is also get a couple washers or something just to make up the space. But I rather, I don't want to tighten all the way through and then happen to thread through the other side of the fiberglass. Then it'd be all fucked up. And then uh, that'd, that'd be stupid because you now have a big ass hole in your thing. You'd have to get some Bondo and fix it back up, throw the through, screw back on. Looks like there's some fiberglass in with the holes. I'm just gonna Take the bolt, happens to be the same uh, width here. Use the bolt to clear out the fiberglass. All right, okay. Mount it up here, can't go any higher. This will come down like so. Just gonna start the threads. See how well I did, if I measured correctly. It's pretty damn good. So what I'm gonna do, now that I got it started. Started the thread, I got it held in. I undid a little bit so it's loose. And that will now allow me to finagle, finagle, finagle my zip ties up this hole, over the cross frame of the bike, down this hole, and zip tie on the bottom. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Ah, oh, God. Oh, I hit my head. Ah. Fuck hag. Christ. All right. Where am I? Now, they said, they said on the website, you can actually put this over the other radiator. I'm gonna do that just in case if the wheel kicks up any rocks or something. Yeah, this looks totally badass, but I'll have the, the stock radiator still in the way to block anything else from hitting it until I change the centerpiece. But for now, I just wanna put this on there. But the company says you can do it. That was my biggest concern, because I wasn't sure if uh, that would work. And indeed, it does. I went on a couple forums and found out that it does. I went with extra long zippy ties so I can really extend the whole thing in there and have a better chance of grabbing it. A uh, better chance, not the best chance. Ugh. Okay. You see that? See how I did that? Up through the hole, through here, around the cross piece, then down through the bottom. It's loosening. There we go. That's much better. Okay, good. That's one. Hold it on. through. Okay, where'd it go? It just disappeared on me. Can't see nothing. Oh, where are you? Oh, here you are. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh, got it. Oh, whip. 
myself getting hurt today. Round the thing through the hole, out of the hole. Ooh. Ooh, I got excited. Yeah, fat guy in the garage floor. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Now they say tighten up the top. Yeah, it goes nowhere. Zip tie the bottom. Push. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Take my uh, metric uh, adjustable. Kind of got me nervous. I don't want to go too tight and then the thing pull out of the, oh gosh. Yeah, I'm going to say don't go too tight because you don't want to pull the metal thing out the thread part out of the fiberglass. I think what I'll do later on is I'll add a little super glue to the outside and when I get the thing sent out for paint and comes back when I finalize it, I will make a nice washer, lock washer, super glue around the fiberglass so that thing just won't pull out so I can get pretty tight in there. All there is to do is to cut the zips, lower the bike and be done. I'm trying so hard to not, to not look down at the fiberglass piece because yes, I I mean, I saw a picture of it on there, but I was so close and tightening it up all the screws and getting it. I didn't actually take a step back a moment and look at what the bike looks like. So try not to look, but <laughs> from the corner of my eye, it looks sick. So let's lower the bike. I cut the zips, brake is on. Okay, don't panic. Don't look. <laughs> I can't wait. Leave a comment below. What do you think, air ride up or down? Doesn't matter, don't leave a comment. I'm putting the air ride down because it's, it looks badass that way. Here we go. Go slow, cause I got one hand. Don't peek, don't look, no peeking. God damn it! Oh! <laughs> Fuck me, man, that looks sick! Oh, this is my blind, re blind reaction. Oh, here, here it is, ready? Three, two, one. That looks tight. And that's not even painted, that's just the matte black. Ugh, oh, talk about before and after. Ugh. Oh. That looks aggressive. It looks slammed on the ground of what I was looking for. That looks awesome. It's all part of that vision, that build I wanna build. If you have a build series, you have a bike, you just have a vision of what it needs to look like and how you want it to have it done. <clears throat> they make those metal, um, metal radiator covers that you can have painted and I'll have like the F for the Fury, like in the middle and I thought that looked cool. And in my mind, I thought, okay, let's, um, we'll do the frame as you see it here. And then I'll have that metal piece with all the holes corrugated into the, into it. But I'm thinking now that I'm looking at it, the mesh, I think it would, I think it would look more badass if there was a whole mesh filling this gap opposed to leaving it like that. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That looks awesome. I'm totally happy with the result. Now seeing it on the bike, I'm thinking for sure, yeah. I'll get a mesh. Uh, uh, ooh, maybe I can get it red. And match, color match the... F oh, maybe I can color match the grill with the paint of the bike. 
New Prominence Red. That might, that's gonna get expensive, but that might look sick. Or maybe just have it black, just in general. I think that would look awesome too. <sighs> anyway, my mind's racing. I got a lot to think about, but there it is. That's your SLK Customs radiator cover, tin scoop, air scoop. It looks great. I'm kind of lost for words right now. I guess we're just in it there, all right? Peace.